and Huggins. We are looking here at the top eight in the overall standings, led by the Bohemian Moxie Jr. ahead of his teammate Kerry. Robinson, of course, won the 400 to close out the proceedings last evening in the Octathlon. Coached by a gentleman who's uh, contributed to track and field in uh, St. Vincent the Grenadines, Jamaica, and St. Lucia, Michael Oliver. Lord of Mercy. A few might know him as. As we have a look at this lineup. Very important if you are these athletes that you get a good start if you are to push for a medal on this second day. Not a lot separating them at the moment. The top five within 250 points and that can be turned around as we have a look at the Vincentian Matthew Robinson. He's in seventh position with 2,606 points. There's the Jamaican Osman Holt. Brilliant 400 yesterday. Fastest 48.93 to move up to fifth with 2,710 points. There's competitor 73, the Bohemian Kenny Moxie Jr. He has the lead, 2,971 points. Raven Wonkin of the Turks and Caicos Islands. He's in third position overall, 2,786 points. From Guadeloupe, Matai Serin, he's in fourth overall, 2,739 points. There's the second Bohemian, Carey, holding the silver medal at this stage with 2,828 points. The Trinbegonian, Jeremiah Francis, he holds sixth position, 2,600. And 88 points, he goes in seven. And on the outside, in lane number eight, Jamard Huggins of St. Kitts and Nevis, 2,571 points. Double Carifta on the 17 medalist in the hurdles two years ago, Jamard Huggins at the under 17 level needs to show that sprint hurdles quality right here if he is to make a move. On your mark. Here we might see uh, something in the region of 14.5 with uh, Moxie possessing speed in that region. His father, a two-time Carifta champion in the pole vault, now a pole vault coach and assistant coach with uh, the Bahamas national team. Moxie Jr. also qualifying for pole vault at these games, but uh, I don't think uh, his services were entirely necessary with the record well in hand and the gold and silver set stand up competitors asked to stand by the way the 15.17 performance that came from k lewis of grenada in the first section gaining him 829 points and that means in the live rankings it is the grenadian who leads overall at this stage but that will change at the conclusion of this section of the 110 meter hurdles, Octathlon boys. Robinson, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Holt, Jamaica, Moxie Jr., Bahamas, Walkin, Turks and Caicos, Serin, Guadeloupe, Kerry, Bahamas, Francis, Trinidad and Tobago, Huggins, St. Kitts and Nevis. On your marks. High jump javelin and the fifteen hundred to come. Off they go. The Vincentian got up well on the inside. Robinson now walking of Turks and Caicos takes charge. 
Francis of Trinidad and Tobago coming through. Moxie running well, but Walken is having a big performance for the Turks and Caicos. The Trinbegonian goes down and he takes Kara with him. Disaster. Carnage. In the Octathlon boys, 110 hurdles. Raven Walken was well clear of everything that was happening behind him. The Turks and Caicos athletes, athlete gets a massive victory here and a big bonanza of points to go with it and he will certainly move forward and a lot to be sorted out i suspect there might be protests here that may result in a rerun not for all the athletes but maybe for a couple or at least one 1442 for raven walkin a new national under 20 record for him he was previously in a tie for the national under-20 record with uh, his best of 14.60 meters. And let's see what uh, translates uh, on uh, the field here. We see Carey struggling a little bit. And then down goes the Trinidadian. And he takes down two or three athletes with him. Walking though, clear. 14.4. Coming through nicely as well was Moxie Jr., 15.43. Yeah, there you have it. 14.42 for Walken, Huggins, 15.09. Moxie Jr., 15.43 with uh, Seren, 15.60. Positive 0, 0.0 meters per second, the wind speed. Well, after all that, let's take a break. We'll